Hello Sagittarius. This is your monthly, your February monthly. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We're going to do a Celtic cross here with the cards face down, okay? All right, that was one to jump out. Let's see what's going on around you guys currently. Let's see what your challenge is for this month. What your issue is. What is the underlying issue here? The past events. Hmm. Best outcome in this situation. What's coming in for you guys? Wow. Okay. So I'm going to put these just like that. Let's see how you are feeling about this situation currently. Your outside influence. I'm going to have to put a cloth or something on this because cars are just spinning. Let's see. Your hopes. Your fears. And the overall outcome here. I mean, these cars are like trying to hop out. All right, so let's see what's going on around you guys currently. The Queen of Pentacles, a lot of you, um, I feel like you're trying to make sure that everybody around you is good currently. Um, I also feel like there's an earth energy here that is significant to you. Okay, somebody that you care about, somebody that's probably been very supportive um, to you. And I feel like there, there's something here where you're wanting to return the favor or you're wanting to be there for this person. But let's see what's challenging you right now. Yeah. This is somebody who is your family. Um, even if it's not a relative, you feel like this person is your family. You guys have been through, I feel like, the ish together. And um, I, I think this is like revisiting this situation, okay? Being there for this person or them being there for you. Um, what was going on in the past here with the Eight of Wands is a lot of communication, a lot of loving communication here between you and someone else, okay? This is your card. Let's see what the issue is here. I think this is you guys having the confidence to, to make things right in this situation. Okay? To be there for this person um, consistently is what I'm getting here. There's some consistency that needs to happen here. Um, a balance of energy, a balance of emotions, stability. Okay? Let's see what the best possible outcome is here. Yeah, that you guys find the strength um, to do what you feel is right in this situation, okay? Fight those fears that you're not going to be able to, you know, be the person that you know you want to be, okay? This is like fighting that devil energy of wanting to run away, to bail out, um, you know, that sort of thing, okay? What's coming in for you guys here? Yes, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Hmm. I feel like, you know, you guys, you want this brand new start with this person, okay? There, There is a lot of attraction between the two of you. I feel like before, maybe you guys have felt... Um, like maybe the attraction was dwindling and but I, I think that you're being awakened to this connection okay if you guys are still together this is you bringing back that spark that loving feeling in this connection okay that is what this is not turning your back to it because I, I think that you, a lot of you are struggling with it like you want to be there for this person or they want to be there for you. But um, one of you does not know if you actually can, you know, fill those shoes. 
is what I'm getting here. Now, how you're viewing this situation is it's giving you a lot of worry. Again, this is feeling like you can't do something, um, but that's not true. Because the Nine of Swords is all about worrying and thinking about things that, you know, really are not as bad as they may currently seem to you. Okay. This is pushing through that energy, finding the strength to push through this energy here. Because a lot of you are consumed with, with these thoughts that, you know, you just cannot tough this out. You cannot do this. You can't be the person that the other person wants you to be. Or vice versa. The... Look at this. Hmm. The outside influence here is wanting to start over, wanting to be there, wanting to do the things necessary to be in this commitment. You have two aces here now, fire and earth. Being very attracted, drawn to someone, wanting to offer them something stable here or they're wanting to offer you something stable here. Um, your challenge is to see what this person really means to you. What they really mean to you here, okay? Six of Cups is like this kindred spirit type of energy where you guys feel at home together. You know, this person is your home. This is where you feel most comfortable, most safe here, okay? That's your challenge. Your hopes is to be everything that you want to be to be everything not for your not just for yourself but in general some something or somebody that you could be proud of i feel like you guys really do want to start over but you want to see growth here you want to be attracted to this person you want them to be attracted to you you want to know that you guys can move forward successfully and grow this thing so it will bring both of you the abundance and the happiness that you both seek. Your fear is that you can't, that you won't be successful, that you won't be able to say the things that, that you know, you feel that you want to say. You won't be able to do the things that you feel like you want to do if you are in this connection. You don't want to be, I mean, you don't want to have to defend yourself all the time and while you're doing certain things here, okay? The overall outcome is the lovers. I think this is you guys definitely, um, you know, committing to each other, committing to this situation, committing to this relationship and being together because this is how you're supposed to be. This is the result of this. This is the result of you meeting this challenge. Okay? So my Sagittarius, let's see, we have Gemini energy here. We have Leo, um, Aries, Libra, I feel, Capricorn energy, Scorpio, yeah so that's what i have for you guys for february and i will be speaking with you guys soon bye now